What's up, y'all? Um, we're gonna go over the, the warm up for today. You can see it does say WAD one um, with warm up in parentheses. So that's because we want to focus on this a, a little bit more like a, a workout, like a mini workout. Um, it is all more warm up type movement, so it's not gonna be um, nearly as taxing or as intense. But we are doing like an eight minute AMRAP. So still think of it as like a pre wad and you're moving through with a little bit more intensity than you would like a regular um, warm up where you're just kind of going through the motions. All right. Um, so for this eight minute AMRAP, if you can just put your phone on for um, eight minutes or set a timer or whatever it is, you're just going to go through these four movements however many times you can in those eight minutes. Okay. Like I said, not going for like the top score ever, but just moving um, uh, with purpose. First movement is going to be eight single leg deadlifts uh, per leg. So we can do that with no weight at all, where we're just planting our feet in a deadlift position, soft knee, but we're just coming down with one leg and squeezing our glutes and our hamstrings as we come up. What we want to focus on is that off, that off leg, really rising up behind us to counterbalance and then bringing it back and matching. Okay. If we have uh, a dumbbell or kettlebell or something that we um, checked out from the gym and it's not super heavy, then feel free to use that as well for that same movement. Um, like I said, we don't have to, you can just use your body weight for that if you need to. Okay. From there, uh, eight hand release push-ups. This is a regular push-up, but as we come down to the ground, we're going to stay engaged. Quads are going to stay up off the ground, but I'm just going to pull my hands up and show that they're off and then press right back out. So we're starting from um, the complete bottom of the rep from zero the whole time um, for those eight reps, okay? After that, eight alternating leg V-ups. We did this last week um, in one of our workouts. Same as a V-up, but opposite hand is coming to the opposite foot, okay? If we need to do that knee up, that's fine if we're uh, a modification, okay? And then lastly, the eight Russian twists. You can just stay on the ground. Heels are coming up, we're getting a bit of a lean back, and we're just crunching down and to the side, touching each side, okay? And this is gonna be eight. Um, touching both sides is gonna be one rep, okay? So if you wanna quick count, 16, okay? Um, and that'll do it for uh, the warm up wad. You're gonna rest for at least five minutes before getting into the second. Part. All right, y'all. Um, the second part, uh, the workout for today, we're gonna jump into this. It's gonna be uh, 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. And we're gonna be doing this for 16 minutes. It's gonna end up being four rounds of these four movements, all right? Um, so try to keep track of your reps during that time off. We are going for total reps, all right? The first movement we have today is a weighted hollow hold pullover. So we're gonna find that hollow body position that we're pretty familiar with. We have um, a weight from the gym that's not too heavy that we can use that. I'll kind of demo both so you can see. We can also use a bag like we've talked about with some weight inside. What I'm gonna do is find that hollow body position with that weight up overhead, and I'm going to pull over and bring that weight to about my knees or my quads. Okay, if I'm using something that's a little bit heavier, uh, like a dumbbell or something or a kettlebell, then it may be more difficult to bring uh, that weight all the way to the knees. So I'm gonna do my best to hold the hollow body position and then bring it so it's more just kind of stacked over the chest. Okay, that's gonna be a lot more taxing. Um, so you may have to break a little bit within it, but try to hold it as long as you can and go through those pullovers, all right? Second movement, we've got pipe push-ups. Um, we've done this plenty of times. You're gonna be in that down dog position. We want to try to bring our hands um, a bit closer to our feet maybe than we would regularly in a down dog stretch. But what we're gonna do is bring the top of our head to where our fingertips are on the ground and we're going to press back out so our chest and our head is moving back towards our knees. All right, elbows are tracking back towards me like this and not out to the side, okay? Um, if that's a little bit too difficult and we need to modify it a little bit, we can grab um, a pillow from the couch or an ab mat if you have one, um, or two if you need to just lessen that range of motion. Um, towels or blankets folded up work great as well, okay? So what that's gonna look like is the same exact thing in between my hands, top of the head, comes to the pillow and I press back out. Um, we should all be able to do this to some degree even if you've got a lessen that range of motion, okay? Um, the third movement, we're doing deadlifts with whatever implement, whatever weight we have, okay? If you borrowed a kettlebell or uh, two dumbbells or anything or the backpack that we've demoed, then we're just gonna grab that weight. Um, say you just have one, you're just gonna use this, kind of come down to those 
ankles. You may not be able to go all the way down to the ground because we're used to having bumper plates. That's fine. But we just want to think about sending those hips back as we lower and really squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings as we stand. Okay? If we have a bag that we've weighted down with something, that same thing, that same position, sending the hips back and squeezing the glutes as we stand. It is 45 seconds of work, so it's gonna be a lot of reps. So it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's super, super heavy, all right? And then lastly, air squats, all right? Uh, we know that we can do air squats at a high intensity and it doesn't take a very long time to start feeling it. So let's, let's move um, with integrity, good reps. Hips are below the knees and our hips come all the way open at the top and we're not kind of staying muted like this, okay? So think about um, getting low enough as you go down, and opening all the way, you can move pretty fast while hitting um, the, the points of performance, okay? 45 on, 15 off, and we're just keeping track of our total reps. All right, y'all, after party today, three sets of 10 bicep curls. Uh, one of the few holding movements we can all really do uh, at home, right? We don't all have access to uh, pull-up bars and stuff, so you're not gonna see a lot of that in there. Uh, so to keep some of that pull movement in, uh, bicep curls, you're gonna see some bent over rows, um, all that kind of stuff. So curls, maybe you do have some dumbbells. Um, depending on the weight, 10 reps might be good for you. Uh, what we're looking for here is we're bringing dumbbell up to the shoulder height, trying to keep the elbow tucked into the body. You can do one arm, you can do both at the same time. We don't want to rock the body to bring them up. Now, if you have a heavy enough weight to where 10 reps is challenging for you to get through, then you don't need to change anything. But maybe the dumbbells that you have are not quite heavy enough for 10 to be challenging, so we can add in some tempo to it, right? Change up the timer. You can go curl up and then do a three second release on the way down. If it's still light, then what you can do is you can do a three second curl, nice and slow, hold for a second at the top, and then do a three second negative on the way down. Uh, you're gonna get a lot more time under tension and you can make some lighter weights feel a little bit heavier. Now, if you don't have dumbbells, all right, we've got other implements. You used a bag earlier in the workout, um, or maybe you, you know, used a kettlebell um, or some other object. So try to use that for your curls. Right, same thing we can do holding the straps. We can do curls with two hands. You can hold the straps in one. You can hold onto the top part here, but sometimes this gets a little uncomfortable things into your hand. Um, so holding the actual back straps is a little bit nicer. Um, same thing, do tempo with this if it's not quite enough weight. Uh, even if you have just a chair at home, right? I've got myself a nice stool here. If I want it to feel awkward and heavy, I can hold the part of it away from me that actually weighs the most, and I can curl from here. And I can tell you right now, if I did 10 reps at a tempo with this, I will have a pump like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> cool? Have fun, y'all.